on guys? Glad to have you here. This is weekly vlog episode four. I'm on a bit of a roll here, so that's kind of nice. You know? uh, I'm being consistent. I'm on it. I, I slip up on my daily wins every now and then, but uh, this is definitely a win. Maybe I'll talk about that on my next one. Huh? My goatee's a little bit off. Never noticed that before. <laughs> Why? Well, I did. I don't know. It's hard to tell. It, it looks different in different light. It looks like the positioning's a little bit off. Anyways, enough of that. Um, what was I gonna say? Man, I, I swear I'm lying. You know, when I had that, I, I'm not a beard guy. I, I tried it. I was just keeping it short. It's just, it gets itchy and scratchy. It's, it's really not my cup of tea. But it, like the red and black really shine when this is full. And then I just, I look blonde when I get rid of it. It just totally looks blonde. Like. My my hair color doesn't know what it wanted to do. Back when I had hair, like when I when I don't shave it, it's like brown and black and all sorts of colors all the way through. It's just, it's weird. It's like chestnut and black, chestnut black and blonde. I, I don't know what what the deal is with that mix. But uh, hey, thanks for joining me here. Glad to have you guys here. Um, today we were should, today we were gonna talk about uh, branding and marketing, because that's a pretty pretty common theme that's been been coming across this week I, I've talked to quite a few people where they they're still fairly fresh in business and they're so caught up in they're they're so caught up in being true to their brand and sticking to their brand and they can't stray from their brand and they can't and and they can't deviate from it which is good I completely understand that and there's nothing wrong with that the problem comes down to the brand is their logo the brand is their flag their logo their company their company no no it's it's not i'm gonna piss a lot of you off today you're gonna need to hear it you're gonna want to hear it and give it a couple weeks or a month you're you're, you're gonna thank me for it but nobody gives nobody cares about yeah it's almost time for a new fedora i love this thing but anyways back to the original topic nobody cares about the flag you fly nobody cares about your logo nobody cares about you nobody cares about any of that if, if you're a business owner you got to understand that and you got to get it through your head brands change we change careers, we change jobs. The only thing that's constant in this world, one thing that's constant and three things that are guaranteed. The one that falls into both categories, I guess that, you know, hell, all three of them are guaranteed. Forget about it, let's just go with that. All three of them are guaranteed. Change. No matter what happens, change is always going to be in your life. You're always going to have to deal with it. And when change hits you, you got two options. Grow, learn from it, adapt, roll with the punches, whatever it may be. Two, give up, throw in the towel, quit, walk away. There's nothing wrong with either choice. But there's nothing wrong with either choice. A choice is a choice. It's up to you to make that choice. Nobody can make it for you. So there's that. The second, taxes. <laughs> it really doesn't matter, man. We're always gonna get taxed. Taxes are always gonna be around. The only thing that we can do falls back on change. You can change it. You can make less money if you wanna get taxed less. Or you could look into more programs that help you reduce those taxes. In Canada, there are some pretty wicked programs and I'm not talking about an RSP. And we're gonna leave it at that. The third, this is going to make you hella uncomfortable. The third is death. Yeah, that's right, death. Change, tax, death. Change is the big one, because guess what? The other two fully and completely revolve around, ta around change. The universe is in a constant state of flux. Nobody cares about your brand. Nobody cares about you. Nobody cares about the flag you fly. The consumers don't care about any of that. The consumers have a problem, they want a solution, and they want results. It's that, 
I, I, I keep, I got to, I'm, I'm trying not to swear. I'm very passionate and when I'm passionate about things, things just come out. So yeah, sorry, if I drop a couple, if I drop a couple cusses along the way, don't hold it against me. And if you do, well, chances are, I don't care. I'm, I can't be everybody's shot of tequila. I can't be everybody's cup of tea. And I don't want to, there's a billion people on the planet. I can't take them all on my own. I'm a people pleaser, but I know I can't make everybody happy. And I'm not a good fit for anybody. So if that's you, bye. And for the rest of you, hi. <laughs> uh, I crack myself up sometimes. But yeah, it, nobody cares. They just, they have a problem. They want a solution. They want some results. That's it. At the end of the day, nothing else matters. I, I've talked to so many, I talked to so many business owners this week and I mean, yes, I would say about 60, maybe 75% of them care about that flag. Whether or not that flag is always gonna be there, that flag is the only thing that matters. To me, in my opinion, are you really being that authentic? You're trying to hold yourself to the image of this flag, of this logo, that you're neglecting yourself. How is that authentic? How, how is that authentic? How, how are you being authentic? I, please enlighten me. I really don't understand. And let me back that up with the way that I see things. And I'm sure some of you guys will understand. I'm sure some of you guys will agree with me. If you don't, that's okay too. We're not here to argue. We're not here to get into any sort of debates, fights, whatever. Don't matter. This is my opinion, my opinion only. Take it for what it is. If it pisses you off, fine. But you're not being a, th you, you, it's you. That's, that's what it comes down to. It comes down to you. You can fly whatever flag you want, whatever logo you want, whatever brand you want. It doesn't matter if you're not being true and authentic to yourself. Think about that for a second. I know for myself, like me, I've learned that lesson the hard way, a couple times. In the financial services industry, I've flown a few, a few flags. It didn't work out with my business partner, I dropped that one. Guess what? My clients stuck with me, and they came corporate with me. The corporate flag that I was not conforming to or not being indoctrined into wasn't working out for me. I wasn't a good fit. So I went on to fly another flag and build something for myself, build my own legacy, my own empire, something for me, something that represents me. Again, it, it didn't matter. You know what? The same clients I signed with my ex-business partner, they were still with me in the corporate world and they're still with me today. And I have had the talk with almost every single one of them. They're like, Daniel, we don't care about the company, we don't care about the flag, we don't care about the logo, we don't care about the colors, we don't care about any of that. We're working with you because of who you are, because of the ideals that you bring to the table because of the morals and values that you bring to the table, the service that you bring to the table. It's all about you. We know you, we like you, we trust you, we care about you. You've done nothing but break your back for us. When, when, th when shit hits the fan, because it does, it really does, shit can hit the fan. And when it does, you stop at nothing to get the do job done, you're diligent and you're relentless. And that's what we like, and guess what? When things are going good, you're still diligent. You're still relentless. You're still going hard because you want to make it better. You want to find a more adequate solution. You want to you want to you want to find a more adequate solution whether it's helping us save more money, whether it's something better came out that's more suitable. It doesn't matter. You're always being diligent. You're always on top of things. It's your work ethic, your attitude, your morals, your values. You can fly whatever the fuck flag you want. We're still gonna be here. 
because we're doing business with you because of who you are, because of your core values. That is the true, in my mind anyways, is the true essence of branding and marketing. It's about you. When people don't know you, they don't care. They're not familiar with you. They don't have that trust. They don't have that bond. It, it's a totally different world. But you keep putting yourself out there. You keep getting yourself heard. You keep banging on doors. You keep screaming at the top of mountains. Eventually, they will be familiar. Heads will turn. Ears will perk up. Eyes will turn. Heads will turn. It's so simple, guys and ladies. It really is. And that's the point that I'm trying to drill home. And you know what? I, I know it's been a lot of me, 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 me this whole time. But I have I've talked to many of my friends. And only 25, 30, maybe 35% completely understand and completely agree with me because they've been through it themselves. And guess what? Those are usually the friends that I most associate with because they're on a higher level in their businesses than the people who are concerned about that flag, concerned about that brand. Because you know what? At the end of the day, all you're doing is putting yourself in a box. And sometimes you're trying to put a square peg in a round hole. The box isn't going to work. It's not going to fit. Sorry. Hate to break it to you. It's just a sad truth. And it's not a sad, it's a sad truth if you're not acknowledging it, if you're not standing by it, if you're not working toward it, being diligent. It is a blessing once you finally get that through your head and move forward. It's about you. Your core values, your core beliefs, your work ethic, the way you treat your clients. You could leave and go to a whole new industry altogether, your clients, if whatever you're doing next solves a different problem of theirs, they will come. They will be there. If it doesn't, guess what? They're still there. And there may come a day down the road in the future where the stars align again, however you want to put it, you guys, you have another solution for whatever problem, whatever it is they're going through. That's my lesson for the week. Take it for what it is. That's my opinion, my experiences, my life lessons. And those are shared among quite a few of my closest friends, my mentors, it's invaluable. Just remember, your flag doesn't matter. Your logo doesn't matter. Your company brand, corporate profile doesn't matter. It does. Brand recognition, and there's a lot of things about that that are important. I get that. I'm not arguing that or denying that. But the fact of the matter is, at the end of the day, the people working with you, whether it's business relationships, clients, customers, doesn't matter. They're with you because of you, who you are, and what you're bringing to the table. Don't ever forget that. And if you can't see it, learn it as quick as you can because you're doing yourself a favor at the end of the day. And that, my friends, is weekly vlog episode four hope you guys enjoyed it i would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my channel you're welcome to follow me on other social media so you don't miss my other content that i'm putting out i'm here for you guys hit me up drop some comments drop some questions i'm here to help in whatever capacity whatever way i can cheers guys